so you may be filled with the spirit with a glorious Sunday school by the age day. This is for the Canadians of Boston and the Blue Point Division. It shows us the first of Boston Yards on the Blue Point of Rocky, the Rocky Shorts, Triple of Black and Gold. And the winning scale, the Front City Sound, four pounds, four ounces. Tonight is his best professional contest, presenting from Bradford Ryan, the Brooklyn. And the most of the boxing fans are on the record, wearing the blue coat shorts, trimmed with black and white. And the way we scale, 13 is down, 10 pounds, 10 ounces. From 2 pounds, 10 ounces, and half is 2 ounces. For those who have the ounces, the five pounds, five pounds, and a wooden shawl. Here is the younger Peter Curry, Mr. Adams. Tom Curry, thank you for the audience. And the excellent Olympic challenge of action, Jimmy Carpenter from Preston. Out with four threes in the cruiserweight division and for a blue corner from Bradford Ryan Le Bon, 33 year old in his ninth professional outing, seven defeats, three stoppages, four more. It's Connor Taylor of Winningshaw, his third professional bout. He's 23 years of age. Fighting out in the final now. Nice little hook there by Le Bon. Taylor didn't see it, clipped him. Born in the white and black shorts with Ryan in the middle. Taylor, and his nickname Miss Dates in the middle. The Amish camp in the blue shorts. And Jim Shelley, Dave Allen in Le Bon's corner. Well, I think Le Bon's better than I think his record suggests. He's quite capable. <laughs> I think at some point he may be looking to uh, get himself a win. Maybe tonight, who knows? First round, hence, there's not that much to say. We did a little bit of action. Obviously, uh, the left hand side of the page, Connor Taylor, from out the red corner. He's the so called prospect, he should be making a name for himself, stamping his authority on this fight, and pushing Ryan LeBorn with Bradford back. Comes with team tonight, myself. <laughs> Lead top of Whitehead, and my catch from Gormley. Referee Jamie Kirkpatrick Preston. Mr. is trying to get trying to get that jab going. Slightly taller fighter. And theoretically, he should have the slight along the le leech. Not always the case. Might have a leech in there as well. And a leech. in the first round, Michael. I think Mr. Ares has just nicked the first round. Not much gone on, as you said before. Uh, just done a little bit better with his jab. Boom, boom, shit, we're in the second round. Red corner, Taylor. Blue corner, Le Bon. Taylor 
they started a bit brighter this round. Nice round to the middle there. by Taylor. Yeah, he's got a decent jab, Mr. Arvies. He's uh, quite sharp with it, he's not, he's, he hasn't quite found his range with it yet, he's not, you know, he's not landed much with it, but he, he's actually attempting to throw that jab, trying to get it over the lead hand of Le Bon, in the, the awkward south post stands. Not offering much really. Just glancing over to the corner, Dave Allen. Dave Allen trying to get him to come forward, put a bit of pressure on this UD. By Taylor. Dave Allen got his head in the ring here. by Taylor, he's two in the bank for him, Mike. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's easily won two rounds for me. All better work than Mr. Addies. Yeah, boom, boom, shader in round three. In this cruiserweight competition. Bradford's round the ball. And Manchester's got a tail. Nice shot there by Le Bon. Right in the money. Yeah, I think Dave Allen's almost had a word in again in three rounds. He's, he's trying to get his man to come forward a little bit and put a bit of pressure on Connor Taylor. He obviously feels he can uh, do something in this fight. As I just said at the start of round one, I, I feel that Le Bon maybe feels yourself that he's due a, he's due a win. Fight's still a little bit laboredly, it's not really set fire, is it, or anything? getting himself in some, some sort of positions, he, nice position, but he's just not letting his hands go when he gets there. He's threatening, but he doesn't let him go. Yeah, I agree, and you can't win a fight, you can't win a fight unless you score punches. Nice shot there by Taylor. And again, Mr. Missiades needs to press the fight, really. He's a home fighter. 
Nice left down by the ball. Taylor's corner, I think it was a slip, but he, I think he did actually land, but it was enough to put him over, I'm not sure. Taylor's face said it all, he knew he'd landed. Definitely landed that. The ball now fancies it. Yeah, I think he must have given me a bit of confidence, that. Fourth and final round this cruiserweight competition between Bradford's Ryan LeBon in the blue corner and Ridden Shaw's Connor Taylor um, coming out of the red corner. Interesting last round there. We, we think LeBon's definitely caught him with, with the hook. So the two rounds to um, Taylor, the first two, maybe that'd be a Maybe a 9-9 round. So it's an interest to see who wins this last round. Yeah, I think I think the ref's got to score it. It's got to be a 10, 10 point round. So for me, it's got to be a 10-8 round if the ref's, referees count as a knockdown. So all, all to go for in this last round, really. Yeah, well, let's see if LeBron's got any uh, interest in winning this fight then. Same with Taylor, because Taylor knows, you know, been down, got a count. Well, I'm counting with a hook then. The referee was talking to him. Taylor yeah. needs some intensity here, he needs to pick it up. Shows what he's got. LeBron caught him again, he stripped, but he tripped and he caught him. Yeah, I think we were standing on each other's feet there when Taylor went for a little bit of slip. Could have happened, that could have happened in the previous round with the knockdown, I'm not sure. Yeah, when the South Pole and Orthodox um, collide, that's not some time standing on feet. Lowell do it on purpose either way. I think Conor, Conor Taylor needs to pick it up though. And I think LeBron needs to get a bit adventurous if he wants to win the fight and pick up his first win. Yeah, it's down to, down to two men involved there, Mike. I definitely think that the, the, the referee got it right in the fight before. Count with it as it was, they landed far now. But that'd be a nice shot there by Taylor. So he needs to push on if he wants to win this fight. Let's have a look, let's make himself a prospect. See if he can punch. He's not this opportunity to end his first two defeats. There are two wins for him. And LeBron's winless. In eight fights, it's been his ninth. I still think, think Taylor's good. I don't think uh, LeBron's really pushing to go for the win. No, no, he seems quite happy to, when he gets inside, he keep, seems quite happy to hold on, but he's, as I say, he doesn't need to step it up a little bit, have a go. It's the last round. Back in the last turn, I think Taylor's nicked it. Yeah, I think he's just done enough in that round to nip the fight. Info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.